this, believe it or not. But uh, yeah. uh, clip toenails is uh, is the is the fourth. Ew. Ew. No, no, <laughs> no! 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 Immediately no! That's disgusting! Oh my gosh! <laughs> George, he's online. Hey, George. Uh, Shamila was very offended by your question about the tattoo, obviously. <laughs> obviously. No. Hi, George. Oh, sorry, George. Oh, no, he's also. <laughs> Hello, Shamila. <laughs> All right. Hey, George. Uh, how are you, George? What's happening? Uh, I had a management conference at uh, the Houghton Hotel. So uh, that's why I couldn't be in studio with you. Um, that's a very that's a very once. nice place that Houghton Hotel. I, I think I've been there mm. once, but it's uh, people are talking about it. It seems to be one of the places to go. Mm. It is. It's almost like you drive down Louis Buerta and mm. um, it's it's all run down a bit, and uh, suddenly you get to the Houghton Hotel. And it's like a little oasis, yeah. Yeah, and it's got uh, beautiful views and uh, yeah, very best of the best and all of that stuff. So nice. Glad you're having your conference there. It must mean you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing okay. We're the market leader, but we have to fight for it. Uh, you I mean, know, you're not no doing it. At, you're not doing it at the Formula One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So what's uh, what's happening, George? What can you tell us? So uh, you you've got a link there to our latest ad. We think it's quite funny. Yes. Um, you know, we're trying yeah. to push the boundaries of uh, of funny and bring some 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 comedy and lightheartedness into uh, into the world because everybody's so serious lately so uh, um uh, the the latest ad is called tunny trader um and oh. um uh, we, we 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 thought it we thought it was quite appropriate to bring some lightheartedness to the to the country all right i'm gonna see if i can play it but uh, i might only be able to play it at the end of this so uh, let's let's go with uh, with all the other stuff in the meantime so um um what are the strangest or craziest things people do while driving their cars what, what is oh. the strangest thing you've seen people do while driving mm. their cars pick their nose oh is that just me <laughs> pick their nose pick i've Apparently, seen a lot of that pick people's no, pick, pick your nose is the top thing that gets cited by uh, third parties when uh, we're we going to the casino people? after this <laughs> <laughs> Exactly right. And it's not even trivia yet. Um, the other thing that people do quite often, apparently, is dress and undress. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've done that. Dress. Sam? Yeah. You know who used to do that and who was the best at it? Because she used to change outfits like five times a day for all the events that she went to. It was Jen Sue, who now lives in, in America. But she used to be our, our celebrity Hollywood reporter. And she used to go to every event. Somehow, she was at everything. She had a driver. And I think she had a like a, a wardrobe that you could fold into a, 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 a bag this big. And the woman would go to the car yes. and she'd emerge moments later looking like a superstar. And then at the next thing, you'd see pictures of her in a totally different outfit. So this, how, how do you, how do you do that? You do that? No. no. Okay. I've done it, you like do it? once or twice. Yeah. I've done it, but like not, not to that extent. Yeah, extent. yeah. It's more of a, I was at work and now I'm going to go see friends for drinks and maybe my outfit is just not the one for wherever it's I'm It's too going. corporate. We need to go into party mode. Yes. And then it's like one or two items. So maybe I'll change the top or I'm changing my pants. And it's also a bit coordinated in terms of how I do the whole changing of but my... You have, to, you have to plan in advance. Yeah. So you will think about all of this before you leave the house. Yes. So there is like a, a bag in my car already. And depending on the outfit, I'll also depend when do i change so if i'm not driving it's great i can do it as you're driving or you know you just get the parking lots or something if you don't feel like going into your bathroom <laughs> but george surely surely you're not talking about people changing while driving um well uh, it's uh, uh, i mean the the the, the list is just uh, dress and undress or dress and redress uh, while in <laughs> traffic so i don't know if that is kind of stop at a oh traffic light God. Uh, you know, do a quick, quick change of your uh, of your of your pants, or do a quick change of your top. How do you um, but how do you do a quick change of your pants when you've got to have your foot on the brake or the accelerator? You've got a handbrake. Uh, it could be an automatic. There are ways. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it in traffic. Know. In traffic, I do yeah. see it. Where you're just like, mm, okay, it's getting a bit too hot now, so. All Let right. Just I, the I think this is extremely dangerous. If they're going to, uh, wait, if they're going to stop us and and arrest us for drunk driving, they should also be arresting people for wait, dress driving. George, on the list, yeah. do they have like makeup? Because I've seen ladies get a oh, yeah. face beat, you know, in yeah. the car as well. Yeah. So 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 makeup is further down the list, believe it or not. But uh, yeah. uh, clip toenails is uh, is the is the fourth. Ew. 
No, 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 immediately no. Ugh. That's disgusting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Roxanne says, I hate seeing people eat in the car. Listen, I'm guilty of that sometimes. Yeah, you know, sometimes you, you, you've been busy all day. You pull into some drive through and you're sitting there munching on food and you just know you look terrible. Yeah, yeah, but also but it's like care. you don't have time to no. like you you in between uh, meetings like, or from whatever. you know A to B. I'll say except you got to watch the sauce. You don't want to drip the sauce on you. You know. Yeah, no. Got something and else to all to go the messy to. eaters out there, please, guys, don't eat in the car. Then, like, if you're a messy eater, <laughs> do not do that to yourself. No, you must eat a wrap and then just open it like a flower. And then you, the you clearly things. have not seen messy eaters. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Blow-drying blow hair using the car's vents. Ah, that's impressive. Wow, okay. creative too. Yeah. I, did, I had not even you thought that was a patience. thing. You have lots of patience as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. And, then, and not then, a frizz the, problem. The, the thing that my bugbear is uh, when your passenger hangs their feet out of the left-hand side window. Have you ever why seen would, that? Why? Yes, because wow. you're such a great driver. Great. I know, it's annoying. I've seen people putting their feet on the edge of the... the the, the window when it's open or even the feet on the dashboard yeah i've seen that before yeah. but it's disgusting it's gross it's really not on one of my team members has just put up their hand <laughs> <laughs> yeah i want to say it's gross but i'm not gonna lie feet on the dashboard like i've i've mm -hmm. been guilty of that you have <laughs> Many and times. then uh, yeah. uh, and then and then the last craziest item is urinating in a cup that's such a guy thing <laughs> i'm looking at all men I'm looking at all men. Yeah. <laughs> <Some pure. laughs> How many times you, Gareth, Gareth, tell us? No, no I've, ne I've never done that. But I I've have on, on a long, dark, abandoned road late at night, I have pulled over and then just peed next to the road. But I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't do that during the day. And I see a lot of guys in South Africa who just stop the car, like even Ugh. on the highway. It's so You're frustrating. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can see these guys. I feel like it's all the Uber drivers because they're at work in their car and they don't have, <laughs> like, where are they going to the bathroom? So every time I see it, I'm just like, he must be an Uber driver because where, where are you going to the bathroom? <laughs> all right. Well, I mean, there's this, uh, uh, Gareth, you, uh, I think I've told you this before. There's this uh, little device. I don't know if it's a device. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a nappy. It's, it's in a, you know, triangular shape it's called got we uh, i've heard of a she we i have a she we you have a she we called, yeah got we and uh, and i and i carry it in my um, in my airplane um mm. because uh, i've never i've never had to use it but um, it absorbs everything you know as you as you need to pee what do you mean everything <laughs> well the pee. you've got to explain this george then we're going to need far more detail from you on this one. Sorry. You're not going to get away with this being like, you brought it up. Now you have to tell us everything. I've never used it, Gareth, so I've got nothing to tell. Mm. So what do you and pee into it? Used. Do you pee into it and then it absorbs everything so that you don't, so it's not like a bottle of like urine swishing around? Yeah, it's, it's got like, it's got like gel in it. So uh, it absorbs all the pee like a nappy. So it's like a pee like tampon. A, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Sounds pretty revolting, finally, actually, George. <laughs> <laughs> car trivia, um, and uh, and this time I suppose uh, Shamila can okay. add to Pewe's score. Um, Thank you. Right. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> moment, Gareth is still leading with twenty-three points I've with Pewe on eighteen. Um, yeah, let's so, go. Um, so first question: Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, nineteen eighty-nine film, featured Walter Donovan, who played uh, played by Julian Glover, offering a fine automotive uh, automobile as a gift for the uh, for the privilege of crossing the soil into the republic of haiti what was the car i remember that movie okay. <laughs> a crusader because <laughs> it's no. in the name <laughs> uh, did you say indiana jones and the last crusade or the temple of doom last crusade. The last, crusade. last crusade last crusade what kind of a film buff are you Sorry. <laughs> Maybe before your time. And some Pires. Some Pires just, some Pires being very quiet. Yes, um, comment <laughs> section, maybe? Anybody? Um, hmm. I remember they made a, a funny, like, that, you know, Mad Magazine used to come up with these alternate titles for things. And they said, if... Ford. If, Ford. Um, now, hold on. If, if Indiana Jones was a porn movie, it would be called In Diana Jones... And the Temple of Poon. 
<laughs> That's all I can think of at the moment. In terms of cars, George, I don't know. Is They're... it a Jeep? Okay. No, it's 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 nothing. It's nothing run of the mill. It's a Rolls Royce Phantom Two. Damn yeah. it! Wow, nice, nice wow. car. That wow. this have one you, had, you should get. Have you, have you had many of those on your on Auto Trader? Yeah, we've had uh, we've had quite a number of them. Um, we've had a few of them in the studio as well, uh, especially that one with the stars on the on the on the ceiling. I don't know if you've, mm. you've seen that uh, that Rolls Royce with um, you can you can adjust the colors of the stars. Uh, that on the sounds ceiling. good. Well, we've, had sounds good. we've had a few of them. Um, right, so next no question points. you should get. <laughs> No points around. Uh, although James Bond drove several cars throughout the films that he acted, uh, that he oh, well, that James was James Bond. The best and most famous car appeared for the first time in Goldfinger. What was Bond's car? It came with machine was guns, with eighty number plates, and ejector seats. Yeah, it was an Aston Martin. I think it was the DB six or seven. What do I got? Shimila. Um, yes, I, I was yeah, also going to yeah. say Aston Martin. <laughs> okay, we have to give it to Gareth because it's a DB5, though. DB5, sorry. Okay. DB5. All right, well, close. I'm off by one digit. So, okay, I'll take it. I'll have the point. Right, this, Thank you. This, this, this one shouldn't be too difficult. In uh, the movie I, Robot, 2004, Will Smith acted in, uh, he drove a luxury style, stylish vehicle. What concept car was it? Concept car? Audi. Mm-hmm. Can you can you name the variant? Tesla. <laughs> it was one of the no, Audi R- no, no. RS uh, somethings. Yes, yes, RS RSQ. Really? Oh, so that's as, <laughs> listen. That's as good as you're going to get out of me. Uh, you know, it's that's like suddenly Simpiwa. Suddenly Simpiwa is a rugby expert, but this is about as good as I get. Out of class, right? <laughs> but I do remember it. I remember what it looked like. It was pretty cool. Uh, okay, and then uh, which car featured in the James Bond film Pretty Woman and and the film? Uh, sorry, not in the James Bond film. In the film Pretty Woman and in the film Basic Instinct. Sharon Stone's uh, Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not a car. Sorry. Um, a Cadillac. No, I'm going to say it must have been something like a Ferrari, because Pretty Woman, it would have been a Ferrari. Oh, the Porsche in the beginning when he picks her up. No, it was a Lotus Esprit. Oh, Damn please. It. Someone, Lucky says in the comments, was it an Uno? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for sure. All right. Uh, uh-huh. And then final question, Gareth. Uh, what type of car was Herbie? Who? A beetle. A beetle. A beetle. There we go. Yeah, okay. Finally, something. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Points for Simpua and Shamila there. The last minute. Okay, but I still get two. They get one. I'll take the yep, win. Thank you. Oh, go. my gosh. <laughs> All right, Borge, have a happy day. And nice to see you. And good luck with the rest of your conference. And uh, you. we will check up. We'll check up. Here's, here's George's ad before we go, because I want you to see this quickly. Uh, this is what? Tunny Trader. Tunny Trader, yes. Okay, take a look here. Love, finance, job, no, no, lost no, no. love. At- I want to buy a car. Yes, I know. Give me your hands. Close your eyes. Hmm. The best car for you, and not just the best car by far, but the actual best car for you is a 2019 VW White Polo. And you can find it in Johannesburg, precisely in Bryanston, and it's 15 kilometers from here. And I get the feeling that you will get this car at a great price. And there will be a person there called a... Gerard. Gerard. Yes, there's it. Where exactly can I buy this car? Auto Trader. Auto Trader? Auto Trader. Auto Trader? Yes, Auto Trader. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Leave chance of Tiny Trader. Rather search for the most trusted brand. Search Auto Trader. I love it. Auto Trader. Cool. Works every time. <laughs> but George, you should really think about employing someone like that who sits in the front of your office and actually, because you'll have people coming off, off the street to like sit with your psychic. And she can basically sell you cars, give a commission. <laughs> Good little gimmick. Exactly. Yeah, I like it. All right, George, thanks very much. We'll uh, catch up with you in a week's time. Uh, I'm not here next week, but 
The rest of the team will be here to look after you. Uh, Shamila Mina, so nice to have you here. So lovely to be here. Thank you for popping around this morning. Simpiwe, we will catch up with you in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. Ben as well and everybody else. Have an awesome weekend, everybody. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.